Today we are making chocolate salami. It's known to be an Italian dish, but growing up in Ukraine, we made it all the time, and this is my version, Ukrainian way. First, what you want to do is start by breaking up the cookies. I have this magic grater. It's actually a pretty neat tool. You'll see, I just got it and I'm obsessed, look. So I'm gonna break it up. You can also do the same thing in a Ziploc bag or just break it however you want to, but this tool is actually quite easy. At this point, we're gonna be adding butter. I have unsalted butter that's been softened in a room temperature, so we're dumping that in. Then I have some condensed milk. Literally, you just dump, mix, and it's gonna be done. Then we have some dolce de leche, which is basically cooked condensed milk, if you didn't know that. And some cacao powder. Personally, I love to use a glove because it just makes mixing much easier. So basically combine it all together until the texture is all nice, creamy, and smooth. Once your mixture is all nice and smooth, I like to add some nuts. So in this case, I'm adding some pecans, but you can add walnuts, hazelnuts, whatever you prefer, and mix them in. At this point, you can start shaping your salamis. I like to make mine about like, I don't know, medium in size. That way I'm not having giant salamis and take out just a few at a time. So I place some on a plastic wrap and just pull it together, wrapping it tightly, roll it up just like this. And then I take the edges and I kind of twist it and it shapes into a tighter and tighter salami. There you go. Your salami could actually stay fresh like this for several months in your freezer, but right before serving, here's what I like to do. I like to coat it in a powdered sugar. That way it actually looks like salami and it's so beautiful. When you cut into it, you have like the white edges and then it's nice and dark on the inside. And this is how it is to make chocolate salami. You can make this at home easily. If you're a starting baker, this is the recipe to start with. It'll give you so much confidence for your baking. Hope you love it.